Well, I'm certainly no concert pianist, but I've been reassured by pro player Sonny that he could teach even an amateur like me how to connect to my inner musician and be playing the piano in just a matter of minutes. You call it piano yoga. Where did it come from? Um, it's based on breathing and relaxing and letting go, uh, and it's healthy, and it's a, a quick method for learning how to play the piano. Sonny Stan Caron's method actually comes from teaching yoga. Some black notes, I'm just going to walk up and down the keyboard, so let's try that. He says it's a concept similar to meditation. The trick is you should stay and relaxed and try not to think about the actual notes you're playing. Some people say the whole piano revolves around uh, the middle C or the C chord. Beautiful, relaxed. Sound a little like Yanni there or uh, Mozart. Yes. yes, I felt like You're I felt like that. Cool. Sonny says what makes this way of learning special is there's no right or wrong way. I think the biggest problem that people have is that they're intimidated by the thought of oh I have to learn to read. So we would switch the hand to G, B, and D. We started with the time-honored traditional song of Saints Go Marching In. Yeah. And taking those simple musical concepts, we quickly got our groove on. Wow. But this is something revolutionary, it's innovative, it's different. And, uh, you know, we, we like to get the word out that everyone can play the piano. Seeing is believing. In Bohemia, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News. Hey, Tony, I want to talk about my Sonny's Piano Yoga. What is Piano Yoga? Piano Yoga is something that I've kind of just organized. It's a lot of very interesting concepts. Uh, main one is that piano playing is fun, it's enjoyable, and the idea of playing is to get into the flow and relax. And what's the best way to do that is to breathe. How to breathe? Breathe diaphragmatically, <sighs> deeply from here. There's a lot of controversy. You should breathe through your nose, breathe through your mouth, breathe through your ears, right nostril, left nostril, in through the nose, out through the nose. The most efficient and natural way to breathe is through your mouth, is to inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. This idea of breathing through your nose, especially, when, like, let's say if you're uh, running, you're running, let's say you're running. You want to breathe through your nose? Not much air going in. Breathe through your mouth, inhale. You're getting about 10 times more air when you breathe through your mouth. And same thing with the piano. You want to play, play the piano, you're going. It's just a, it's, it doesn't get natural flow. If you breathe through your mouth, you get a nice deep breath and you can relax. One of the causes of stress and tension is that under stress, the body tightens up, constrict, can't breathe deeper. When you relax and you breathe deeply through your mouth, which comes first, the chicken or the egg? You breathe deeply and you relax, or you relax and you breathe deeply. Either way, when you're playing the piano, the most important thing is to breathe. Breathe deeply, fully, and relax. Be aware when you're sitting at the piano, how you're doing when you're breathing. Are you breathing shallow, you're breathing deep, breathe through your mouth, breathe through your left nostril, right nostril. Relax, and if you relax, look like this. As soon as you breathe, the body gets into more of a flow. No matter what you're doing, playing tennis, playing tennis, or playing tennis, playing piano, uh, not breathing, tense, tight, breathe. You flow. So, that said, um, this idea of also when you're getting into the flow is to flow. One of the things you can do is sit down at the piano, take some deep breaths, just do a little Tai Chi before you get going, do a little stretching, relaxing, yeah, and then play. Yes, breathe and flow and relax. Yeah, that's part of my piano yoga tip for today. Thank you for watching.
I'm Sonny, and you always hear me say that uh, everyone can play the piano. It's, it's not hard. It's uh, something that you can just sit down and uh, start noodling around, and away you go. And uh, I want to give you a, a little uh, exercise or a little lesson or tip here that you can do to uh, get a nice uh, sound on a piano. So what I was just doing then was uh, playing uh, chords, and, and not anything specific, just opening my hands and just dropping them on the white notes, all right? And then dropping them on the black notes, and then the white note, and then the black notes. Interesting harmonic effect. Actually, the piano can be, uh, apart from learning to read and all the different keys and, and all the ki different modes, well, here's another mode that you could uh, just uh, 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 look at the piano in, in this light. You can look at it that there are black notes and there are white notes. And if you just play the white notes, pretty much anything you play will, will harmonize. And if you just play the black notes, everything will harmonize. And then you can play the black and white notes together, or you can play the black and white notes al alternatively. So like, for instance, if I just drop my hands on any white note, just spontaneously drop them. Walk up the keyboard, just playing white notes. Just noodle around. Don't worry about making mistakes. You really can't make a mistake if you're just having fun. It's kind of like if you're out on a bike ride or a walk. You're not looking to play walk perfectly or ride perfectly. You're just looking to have a good time. The same thing with the piano. As soon as you get that idea that you have to play perfectly or you have to be better or worse, or you're good or you're no good, as soon as you get that out of the way, you can really enjoy yourself at the piano. So you can just play white notes, you can just play black notes. Just have a good time, let your fingers run around. And remember, any combination of notes is a chord, so you can play two notes with the right hand, two with the left. Black notes now, that's all I'm playing. So you get this certain effect, it's almost a new aging effect. I'm not playing any uh, piece that I memorize, I'm just playing in the moment. So going back to the original idea with the chords, so I'm gonna play, uh, stretch out both hands, play any, any, any white notes. Now do the same thing, black notes then white notes, and then black notes, and then all white notes, black notes, black notes, white notes, black notes, you hear that, just how it modulates, black notes to the white notes, very interesting, a lot of fun. You don't have to know even where middle C is. You can just sit down. You don't have to know where any notes or the keys, or any music theory. You just sit down and just play from your heart, from your soul. Play from your feelings. You can play white notes and then just black notes. And then white, black notes. Roll your fingers around on the black notes. Or you can play right hand with the black notes, left hand with the white notes. And all different types of harmonic variations, tonal experiences, colors. Travel down. Travel up. Play lightly. Call them up
improvisation. Just improvise away. Just explore. Piano exploration. And even if you uh, do read and you uh, or, or play and you've been playing for a long time, when you play free like this and just explore and just let go, when you come back to uh, the world of uh, musical uh, structure and you go to play a song, after you've done things like this, the muscle memory in your hands expands. And also, it's just uh, when you're playing that free, it's, uh, it's, you go back to just playing a, a tune that you've memorized, you'll find that you be, will be more creative and your hands will want to do more things. So if you, after you've done this, go back to playing a song, you're going to not be able to just go... Um, probably end up wanting to do something like this. So playing free and playing creatively uh, spills over into your structured playing. And before you know, your structured playing isn't as structured anymore and you're playing, you know, improvising within your songs too. So, another Sunny East Piano Lesson, Piano Tip for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, play that piano. Uh, be creative. Uh, play freely. Uh, don't don't uh, judge yourself. Don't, you know, don't uh, try to play perfectly. Just play. Have fun. <laughs>
Learn how to breathe diaphragmatically, okay? Get into the flow and breathe diaphragmatically. In uh, Japan, uh, when they teach them archery through the Zen method, uh, for the first year, they don't let them shoot the, the, the arrow. First year, they're concentrating on how to breathe with their motion. So it's like, Most people, when they do exert themselves, especially with sports, they hold the breath. They move more like, or let's say swing the bat, rather than or exhale. Exhale into your maximum exertional force and breathe and relax when you play the piano. You'll, you'll see when you're playing the piano, if, if for, after a few minutes, you, you'll notice that you'll be holding your breath or breathing shallow. And that will be at the moment to take that deep breath. So let's say, so right away, I tensed up a little bit, holding the breath. An old Eastern uh, saying is before entering to battle, take three deep breaths. So before entering, before fighting, two deep breaths. So if that applies to battle, it applies to the piano. So when you sit down at the piano, take three deep breaths before you get going. Sit down. Relax, then go at it. Okay, see so right away. Uh, now take a breath. Breathe. I'm not saying you can't breathe through your nose, but the idea is not to hold your breath, okay? So if you want to breathe through your nose, breathe through your mouth, whatever works for you, but be conscious of breathing, especially when we concentrate. Playing the piano, concentrate. Right away, as soon as you concentrate, there's a tendency to tighten up. Breathe, relax, enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching. Sunny with another Sunny Zen Piano Yoga tip for you today. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about piano meditation. Piano meditations, or piano and meditation. Um, you know, I always talk about the, the healing and health and therapeutic benefits you get from the piano. And uh, recently, some friends asked me about meditation and how to meditate. And I think uh, playing the piano is, uh, is a wonderful way to meditate. And I'd like to give you a couple of tips on how to do that um, in a way that would be, and how to play the piano and meditate at the same time, okay? So um, essentially, if we talk about meditation, um, part of the idea would be to sit comfortably Drop your shoulders, relax your stomach, and breathe diaphragmatically. <sighs> Just relax, right? And let's see, meditation um, can be described in many ways. Um, one of the uh, key ingredients to meditation is to sit. So whether you sit um, in a, the lotus position, which is not necessary, or you just sit in a chair, or you just sit at the piano and play the piano. If you close your eyes and just play something very simply, um, just maybe two chords or just a few notes and close your eyes and focus your mind on the music and breathe, you can have a kind of meditation happening for you. So let's do this. Let's have, let's play A minor. Close your eyes. Relax your shoulders, relax your stomach, breathe. And just focus on the sensation of your fingers touching the key tops. Part of the key to meditation is to turn the mind off 
to stop thinking, stop analyzing, stop worrying. And if you sit comfortably at the piano, just play some basic chord pattern, or maybe even just one chord. Just relax, concentrate on relaxing, breathing. Really focus your mind on the sounds of the piano. Don't try to play the piano. Don't try to play perfectly. It's kind of like a, almost like a chanting. I call this piano meditation. Okay? So where you, you're not really looking to play a song, you're not really looking to play perfectly, you're not really just sitting comfortably at the piano, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your stomach, relaxing your arms and your hands, and then you close your eyes, you relax your facial muscles, and you just listen to the music, feel the music, piano yoga tip more about breathing yes more about breathing cannot under emphasize the importance of breathing so one time i was teaching uh, uh, a student and this uh, gal and she said uh, i was encouraging her to breathe and she said i can't play and breathe at the same time and i just said mm, would you like to repeat that sure enough. i said yes you know, if you breathe, you'll get into the flow. If you get into the flow, your plane will evolve and you'll really surprise yourself because breathing also helps you access your unconscious, your unconscious feelings. And when you want to play, you breathe, you get more in touch with yourself, more in contact with yourself. So there's so many reasons to uh, focus on breathing before anything else with the piano. Okay, so if you want to play the piano instantly, you want to play it for health and well-being, breathing. And what does breathing do besides helping you get into the flow? It oxygenates you. Yes, what is oxygenation? Oxygenation is getting oxygen into the tissues of your body, deep into the tissue. So that's why, uh, like, uh, exercise is very good. oxygenates you. you can get the oxygen going. Oxygen is a catalyst for all chemical changes. So it really helps you to function better when you breathe more, breathe deep. But of course, do not over breathe because then you could get too much oxygen. And if you get too much oxygen, that's when you get lightheaded. So be careful not to take too many deep breaths and get lightheaded. So breathing uh, during the day, during all activities, every once in a while, you're feeling tense, stressed, anxious, breathe. Take a couple of deep breaths. Deep breathing is nature's built-in tranquilizer. So if you're feeling tense and tight, take a few soft deep breaths and you will immediately feel more relaxed. So, very important. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe. Thanks. Now, lots of us relaxing uh, to various kinds of music. And some of us do a little yoga. That's right, but you know, a Long Island man has found a way to do both at once. Sonny Stancrone knows how to make a Steinway sing, but the passionate piano man says he's practicing something else. Yoga. 
Though he's not twisted into tricky positions, Stan Crone claims he's created a form of the ancient exercise that tickles the ivories. Piano yoga is a way of connecting with the musician within through breathing, stretching, relaxation techniques that I've developed. Sonny says piano yoga combines the best of both worlds, the relaxation of yoga and the beauty of music, all without worrying about reading notes or making mistakes. And it's healing and it's healthy and it's therapeutic. And it reduces tension and stress. So play that piano. But can a stressed out reporter on deadline find keyboard karma? Deep breath. Relax, you're gonna get into the flow, into the zone. Thank you. Just walk down, play any black note. Be in the moment. Be in the moment, exactly. That's the whole secret to this. Okay. Yeah, that's it. While I may not be ready for Carnegie Hall, it is kind of fun. Sonny promotes his teachings through his website and a show on local cable. He also sells instructional CDs. And I have people ordering my lessons online. Uh, from, you know, uh, Sweden, from Japan, from China. So though he may not create the next Van Cliburn, Sonny believes his lessons help people find inner peace. I sound like Yanni. Yeah. <laughs> new, new In Patchogs, Suzanne Goldklang, TV 10 and 55 News.